Choosing your first ultrasound machine can be quite overwhelming. There is now so much choice, with prices ranging from hundreds through to thousands of pounds, all claiming to offer the best possible solution for your needs at the best price. This short presentation goes through a few examples to help demystify choosing your first ultrasound machine. So what is an ultrasound machine? The machine itself is simply a computer. It will have features such as processing speed, memory, screen and display size, and it may or may not also have a well laid out keyboard for easy use of controls. The most important part of your system though is your transducer or probe, yet this is the part of the machine that is least understood by people who are new to ultrasound. An ultrasound transducer houses delicate crystals which convert electrical signals into pressure or sound waves and convert returning echoes back into electrical signals for the computer to process and display on your monitor. The very first ultrasound transducers used to consist of a single crystal which was mechanically swung within a fluid field housing. The front of the transducer has a lens which focuses the beam at a specific depth. You may have seen sheep scanners, for example, using an old machine with a vibrating or rotating head, like the one on the left. This type of ultrasound technology is still available today, sometimes in an updated form, such as the case of the MSU seen on the right, and sometimes not. But regardless of the source, you should expect to pay no more than £1,500 for a machine equipped with a mechanical sector probe. The majority of wrist scanners advertised on eBay use this type of technology, but unlike offerings from specialist ultrasound manufacturers who have improved the technology over time, it provides the exact same image quality one could have expected from scanners in the 1970s. And why weren't people scanning their own animals in the 1970s? Besides price, it was also because ultrasound was only suitable for use at that time by specialists who understood the technology in depth and had a highly trained eye. Choosing one of these as your first ultrasound machine if you are not already a very experienced sonographer is setting yourself up for failure. On this eBay listing here, I personally can't discern anything from the scan image they're using to advertise their machine, and I am a trained sonographer. Advances in technology later brought us electronic probes. These are filled with multiple crystals and using electronic firing, the ultrasound beam can be shaped and focused much more effectively. We get much better resolution with these modern transducers, but remember that not all transducers are created equal. The number of crystals and channels within an ultrasound transducer varies widely across manufacturers, and this has a huge bearing on image quality. The materials used to construct the probe are also very important. To name just a few, it needs to be well insulated to protect it from interference. It needs a backing layer to dampen ringing and shorten the pulse length. And it needs a matching layer to preserve sensitivity and ensure the effective transmission of the ultrasound waves. All of these components can vary greatly in quality. So let's look at some of the choices out there on the internet right now. This machine here is a bargain £816 with an electronic probe and even has 3D imaging. Given that high quality electronic transducers will cost around £1,000 alone, alarm bells are already ringing about the quality of this probe. But in addition to this, can you spot an obvious problem here? Look at the style of the probe, and also read the title. Scanner and rectal probe for vet, farm, cow, dog. Are you really going to be scanning your dog rectally? I sincerely hope not. Here's another example of what comes up when you search for veterinary ultrasound on eBay. At least the previous listing declared in the title that it was equipped with a rectal probe, despite the fact that saying it was suitable for canine scanning was somewhat bewildering. Other listings are not so clear. In this eBay listing, there is no mention of the probe type, only a picture. Those not familiar with ultrasound might not even notice that there's a problem with the probe here. There's also a picture of a dog and a cat, which leads the buyer to believe that this transducer is suitable for small animal use. Conversely, here's a scanner decorated with pictures of cows, but sporting an abdominal convex probe. 
this would be impossible to use for bovine scanning. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to these listings on eBay, and I believe this stems from a complete lack of knowledge from the resellers, who, by the way, are all resellers, despite what their listings may state. There are no ultrasound manufacturers selling directly on eBay. If you check out these sellers' portfolios, they'll usually be stocking everything from pop-up tents to children's toys. If you try messaging them a question about their ultrasound machine, invariably they'll be unable to answer it. Did you notice that the previous scanner also had 3D technology, just like the first scanner we looked at? And here's another example. This machine does have a convex probe, and for under a thousand pounds with 3D imaging, it's very tempting. But what is 3D? A standard ultrasound transducer is effectively taking a single slice through the body. Let's say it has 64 elements. An equivalent 3D transducer is that same number of elements squared to be able to take a full volume of all those slices. That is why a 3D or 4D transducer is going to be tens of thousands of pounds. I have inquired on some of these machines in the past, but the response is always vague. So I think we've had enough of looking at the ridiculous. Let's get back to reality. What realistic probe options do we have? First of all, you need to think about what you are scanning. If they are animals that you will scan abdominally, like a dog or a goat, you will first of all need to narrow down your search to convex and microconvex transducers only. These probes have a curved head, like the two top images here. Never a flat one, as in the bottom image. This is a linear probe, and it's not appropriate for pregnancy scanning on small animals. It's more suitable for reptile work or other abdominal or surface work. Then think, how large are these animals? This will influence the footprint or physical size of the probe you choose, but also the available frequencies Larger animals need to be scanned at lower ultrasound frequencies, so you may wish to look for a probe in the 2 to 5 MHz range. Smaller animals, like small to medium sized dogs and pygmy goats, can be scanned at higher frequencies, and a transducer capable of generating frequencies at 5 MHz and above would be ideal. Once you know what type of technology you need, be sure to pick a reputable supplier. The safety of your ultrasound machine is your responsibility, and the law states that it is the operator of the equipment who is responsible for proving due diligence in terms of its safety. Importing a cheap machine from China may seem like an attractive option, but if you are going to do this, demand to see their certifications and find out what support they can offer you if anything goes wrong. Ask them if they display thermal or mechanical indices on screen as these are a legal requirement for use of ultrasound in the European Union, United States and Canada. Yet the vast majority of scanners sold on eBay do not show any sign of measuring or displaying outputs. You can learn more about what this means and the safe use of ultrasound at animalultrasoundassociation.org and the AUA is here to support you throughout your ultrasound journey. We can provide you with a list of approved suppliers in the UK, Europe and North America, as well as sonographer-led training courses, where you can learn how to get the most out of the ultrasound machine that you choose.